Nicholas. Hi guys, it's Sensei Abe again here in the dojo, and I wanted to make sure to work on a little bit of extra warm-up and workouts. Maybe do this at your house in your backyard. Please don't go walking in the park with these things here because I'm not sure you can walk around with cement in your hands, right? So we use this for Chi'ishi. This is weighted, and this is my Las Palmas whole green chili scan that I have inside with cement. And I put this little doohickey here. It's called the PVC pipe in the middle. And you can make some of these as part of your, your homeschool. And what do you think? Bad joke. Sorry. But this would be good for you. Use your Skippy um, peanut butter glasses and stuff like that. But I want to show you some of the exercises that we do here in the dojo. Maybe some of you have already done these before. We you want to practice Masubo Dodge. Practice moving this around. So I'll show you that again. Here. So that's with a light can, right? You can do it real big and round. Big and round, just like this. Right? This is to help your shoulders and arms and your body and your core area here stay strong. So in Japanese, we practice Chiishi items because there wasn't very much to work with. So they used rocks and stuff back then. So it worked like this. So here we go again. So then you practice turning them. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just like that. So here you go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now it gets a little heavier as you get the heavier ones in there. But if you're going to do one in one of these kind of jars, put it halfway. And as you do it, drill like a one screw through it so it doesn't kind of fly out on you. How's that? Okay, so the heavier it is, the more extra resistance that you get against your technique. So you practice here. It's going to get really short. <laughs> oh, it's a little harder to do, so get around here. So practicing with this, very cool here. And then you practice the same thing with the other side. Try to keep your arm nice and still. Now the purpose of this is so you put it by your side. And you punch, you have control with that punch. All control over the punch. You have control over the hand strikes. I like this part here. So when you're practicing at home, try not to hit yourself in the head with it, right? Practicing and training is really important. This is all about your wrists and stuff like that. So stay focused with it. So watch, I bring it across. Watch this piece here. See how it comes around your head? If you control it, you won't hit yourself in the head. But if you don't control it, you're going to hit yourself in the head and the chin and the chest and the belly. Then there's other ones here you can practice. You practice right here, kettle weights. So hit the stances. So back and forth, just like this. I'll explain to you what this is all about in about five seconds here. So count four, three, two, one. There you go, how's that? So I'll show it to you right now. So you gotta practice, practice it. So remember, as you're working on Chi'ishi items, make sure all these things are right here. Stay right there for a second. So back in the day, and this is for you, Demetrius, if you get a chance to see this one. As you're practicing, you, you sheath your bulk into the side like this, and the weapons, and the weapons were used to so practice wrist action. So as I pull out here, and I strike like this. And I strike. Does it look familiar? Let me show it to you again. See that? Watch. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. I both in my hands. So I'll bring it across here. Look pretty easy, huh? So as you're practicing, look at yourself in the mirror. Practice it, but don't hit it with your stick or something. You could take a stick, a broomstick at home and practice with this. Don't. Well, maybe you can mop after you do the whole thing. But that's a good way to practice. Get your broom or mop's handle and practice. Just practice a block like this. So you come across and swipe. Right? Bring it across. Swipe. Then bring it over and cut. So practicing. The Chi'ishi helps you do all this. Right? So practicing that's really important because it's the same as this. Right? So 
So Chi Ishi has that for everybody. When you're practicing it, you want to make sure your body's nice and strong as you're doing it. So watch as I'm practicing. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. When we're practicing that with Jiishi, you can practice anything with a little weight on you, right? So you got your block here. Bring it across like this. Bring it out like this. Do the other side. Here. 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 Notice I'm keeping the integrity of the block. So I'm going boom, boom, boom. Let's turn over. Boom, boom. Boom, try it again, boom, boom, boom. You know, when you train something, you wanna make sure you're getting the best movement with the best strength that you have. If you're not training it in that, in that format, you're gonna get stuck, and I don't want you to get stuck. And the best way to train this and not get stuck is by doing the following. Take focus hand positions, boom. As you're training, you're gonna start getting better at it, your chi ishi gets better. And a good way to do chi ishi is also do push-ups. So as you're practicing them, go up and down. I'm gonna have Jorge post something about his push-ups that look really nice. Sensei Ivan does beautiful ones as well. Chime in, check and see what some of these things are. Look forward to having you there, and we'll go from there. How's that, all right? So you guys have a wonderful day. It's nice to see you again. Hopefully we'll get back in the dojo and train together soon. Bless.